We're back to looking at freshman wide receivers from the 2023 recruiting class. And today we're going to be looking at Anthony Evans from Georgia. He's going to be fun to watch. We're going to look at the highlights and do an evaluation. But before you do, you have to click that subscribe button. Stop missing out on these prospects that we're covering every day because these guys you need to know about because they're going to be blowing up off and on throughout their collegiate careers. We're also covering clips from training camp every day. So you're in the know your favorite rookies and players, prospects as we get into the season. And we got the fantasy football content helping you build your teams, build your lineups. But let's take a look at Anthony Evans here. And we're going to start things off with his 24-7 sports player profile page. If you're here just for the highlights, just fast forward a little bit. You'll get there. But we're going to cover this real quick so we get some context here. Right now. They got him listed at 5'10 half, 160 pounds. I'm going to tell you right now, as I always say this, we get new people to the videos every day. These are older listed heights and weights. Could be a little thicker now. Could be a thicker boy. Could be 180, could be 200. Check it out, Georgia fans. Let us know in the comments what you've been seeing and hearing from him, where he's listed at, what they've been saying about him in practice and fall ball, spring ball. Let us know. Let us know. We're all trying to learn about these players. He enrolled in December, so he's been with this team for a bit. But let's look at the rankings. Wide receiver 30 and wide receiver 29. 29 in composite, wide receiver 30 in their initial rankings. The thing that I see here um, drives questions for me. 30 offers, and then when we look over here to the left, just, just a quick look. No jabroni schools here. We got Georgia, Oklahoma, Texas A&M, Arkansas, Arizona. We got Power 5 schools here. 30 programs. Looks like there was a fight for him. And they got him valued at like wide receiver 30 level. This is a deep wide receiver class. And one thing I want to say is whenever a player enrolls or signs early, they kind of sleep on them a little bit. And they're kind of favoring Alabama guys as well. Just from how... I interpret this and what I've heard from the comments as well, too. And I argue with their scouting reports a lot. They don't have one here. They're talking about his track times. We have a 10 9 100 meter. So we got some speed there. We got some speed there. We're hitting the 10s. We're hitting the 10s, which is good to see. And we got a track guy. We got some long jump, triple long jump, and stuff like that. So he should be explosive. Some deep speed. Look at this. Georgia and Oklahoma coming after him. The production levels of something they might have looked at, but we do not have a deep, detailed scattering report. This might be because they haven't really looked at them, but these teams here did. These these teams did, and they were after them, and they were giving them offers. 30 offers. There's a lot of players in the top 20 part, like 20 to 15 range. It doesn't have this many offers and doesn't have this caliber of teams going after them. So this is very interesting. Let's look at the highlights here. Let's see what we're going to get here with Anthony Evans. And we'll take a look for ourselves, as we always do. Again, feel free to shout out anything you know or see of him in the comments below. Because we're here to learn about these players as we get closer to the college season and get their careers ramped up. We're burning here. I see speed. He's light on the feet. First few things I see right now. And it's all looking good so far. It's been one play. And I am very positive on these players. I look at their upside. I look at the bright side. And they're also younger players. So I do not go heavy on any of the negatives. If there's any, these are highlights. So I understand. But this is the game. We look at the highlights. We see how they play. And I'm seeing a guy with ball skills. I'm seeing a guy getting deep targets downfield, making plays happen. And had, looking at his listed size and seeing him in the slot right now, looking at where Georgia might want to use him at, maybe in the slot, maybe moving him around like this, I could see that. And then the fact that we got some experience going deep, that's a good thing as well. And we got a 10 9 100 meter time, or we got a track guy that lets us know that he might be able to give you more than just slot routes, like the short to intermediate stuff. We got some special teams action. He's right there. And he gets the fumble. Okay. 
I don't know why you put that in the highlight reel, but it's cool. It shows that you didn't give it up. He's, we're on the outside. We got inside shade, but we're playing off a bit on him. So DBs are letting us know that, hey, we fear his speed right here a little bit, or that's how it's called. We're in more like a stake coverage type deal. Inside shade. And let's see what we do. Stop and stop. Stopping up. And the thing about that, going back to that footwork there, pretty light on his feet, can stop and regain speed fairly quickly. Fairly quickly. Doing it again. Nice ball skills as well. Good footwork. Good footwork there. He's light on his feet. He's quick as well. The thing about these highlights and the thing about wide receivers at the high school level in route running is really you don't have to be super nuanced at the high school level if you're so much more athletic than your opposition. So a lot of these highlights you won't see their top end on their nuancedness or if that's a word when it comes to route running. So if you're interested in that, I suggest looking at the 1v1s from camps and stuff. He is showing us that he is able to break off routes. He's got some good short area quickness. We're doing some blocking here. He got him turned away from the play. And you need to work on your editing. Here we go. Down on the bottom part there, circled off. Motion. We're rolling. We're rolling. He's gone. We got some speed. We got some explosives. Not the fastest guy. Because we covered some really fast guys. But he's more than fast enough. More than fast enough. He's fast. Let's just say fast. Like you, It's noticeably different. He's got some speed there. Light on his feet. He's got a little Randall Cobb to him. A little old school Randall Cobb. Not now Randall Cobb, of course. But a little old school Randall Cobb to him. He's so that type of player. I don't do comparisons. I kind of like put players in buckets. Kind of like in that Randall Cobb-esque bucket. Whoever you have in that bucket, it's kind of like that. That slot receiver who can do a little bit more. Get downfield, got some speed. Do some end arounds, get some carries. Stuff like that. He's a multifunctional guy you're going to have in the slot. You can put him on the outside, too. You can do a lot with him. He's got to develop. Of course, a lot of these guys do. That's a great, that's a given thing. That's a given thing. There's only, like, maybe a couple wide receivers that come out of every class and doesn't really need to. Like a Marvin Harrison Jr. We covered his highlights back in the day when he was coming out. The thing about this, though, how can he win? How can he win? That's what we're saying when we look at these players. And what I'm saying, we got speed. We got swift feet. We can break off routes. We're decent after the catch. We got ball skills. We have bigger ball skills than his size. This is how you get the scouting report, really. Just listen to me ramble on these players as I watch. Because I'm just calling it out as I see it. See, making a move, moving laterally well. Finishing plays. Good stiff arm. Good stiff arm. He's a good player. He's a good player. I don't know how 24-7 sports really do their rankings. I'm sure someone out there watching them this does if they're making it this part of the video. Part of it, I think, is they watch these clips. And some of these players are able to make it to their practices, camps, and games and stuff. I think part of it's these clips. I think what I like to look at is the market of these collegiate programs and how were they going after this player? That is those top five, those top programs in the Power Five schools. They they let you know they're not going to waste their time. They're not. They they may on some players, but some players don't hit, and I understand. But they're not going to waste their time, especially multiple Power Five programs who are considered top tier. The Alabamas, Georgias, Ohio States, Arkansas. So like, like those, those schools up there that you're always seeing there. Tennessee's been nailing some wider receiver prospects as of late. Texas ain't them you see sneaking in there. Because they'll get some of those top tier wide receivers as well in some classes. 
and a bunch of other schools. Just because I didn't name them doesn't mean I'm not thinking about them. Of course, it's early in the morning. We're watching some film here. In the slot. In the slot. We're moving. Smart player. Smart players gets that block. Like, it's not just the block and physicality. It's reading what's happening and getting there. Like, you got to think about it. It's reading what, look at his eyes. It's downfield. He's trying to get off him. Gets to where it's not a penalty. Looks good. Like, there's the little things. There's the little things. The little things get you on the field. The little things get you on the field. The big things make you a star. And it's those little things. We, we need to get on the field first. You got to do those little things. And those matter. Those matter a lot. I think this is a very, very good wide receiver class. Just from what I've seen throughout the years and stuff and looking at these players, the thing about it is the road to getting there is tough to the NFL level. But we got some good wide receivers in this class. Anthony Evans is another good wide receiver. Right now, he looks like a player that can help Georgia once he starts developing, getting some opportunity there. Let's see how his freshman year looks like. Let's see how much playing time he gets, what's going to happen with him. I watched him initially. I see if you're a Georgia Bulldog fan, you watched this whole video and you're to this point. I'm going to tell you, you guys got a good player here. I think he's fundamentally sound. He does all the right things. He plays bigger than his size. You're going to do more than just the slot with him. Even though his size projects that, you can do more than that. You can put him on the outside because he's got that swift feet. He's got that speed, and he's light on his feet. Makes good cuts, moves laterally well, moves linearly well. And there's a lot of good things to his game. He's a jack-of-all-trades type of wide receiver. That's going to get you on the field. Good, good hands. Good hands. Smart. Smart player. NFL-wise, just keep developing. Just keep working on stuff. And then if you want to see more nuance in the route running, we've seen some here. And I guarantee it's there. Go check 1v1s in camp. Go check that stuff. Him working against guys, because you're probably going to see it there. And I think 24-7 Sports, they didn't even do a scouting report on this guy. So really, videos like this, for me and probably other people who do this, that, that's probably what you're mostly getting outside of reports from practices and stuff. I think he's a good player. I think he's a guy you're going to have to watch develop because he's fun to watch. I like him. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.